Hello my dear lovers of jewelry. Today I want to tell you stories about the most favorite attribute of Queen Elizabeth, namely brooches. The Queen's treasury contains about a thousand pieces of jewelry. However, some of them stand out in particular. Elizabeth II's jewelry collection epitomizes her reign and rich history. A brooch is not only a protocol accessory that emphasizes her status, but also a historical document that tells a story of romance, strength, patience, and the bond between generations over the years. And often these brooches adorned the lapels of Her Majesty's coats, especially on the left side. Many see the Queen's choice of jewelry as a way of sending messages, for example, during her Christmas address in December 2019, when she wore a sapphire and diamond brooch in the colors of the European Union during the Brexit period. However, the true meaning of these jewelry pieces is only known to the queens in a circle, and we can only guess and admire their beauty. Let's take a closer look at the most precious ones that Elizabeth II was particularly fond of. The Richmond brooch. This heirloom brooch in silver and gold with a pearl set with diamonds comes from the collection of Queen Elizabeth II's grandmother, Queen Mary. This artifact was brought to public attention when Elizabeth II wore it at the funeral of her husband, Prince Philip and at the wedding of Meghan and Harry. Some observers see symbolism in this, hinting that the Sussexes' behavior could endanger the older generation of monarchs. Do you agree that the brooch may carry a certain message? Hibiscus brooch. This three-dimensional hibiscus flower, enlivened by 346 diamonds and 34 Burmese rubies, was presented to the Queen Mother during her successful tour of Australia. The gift was presented during a luncheon held in her honor at Government House amongst dignitaries. This picturesque accessory became part of the royal collection and subsequently became part of Elizabeth II's jewelry. It often complements monochrome outfits, especially pink and red dresses and coats, which gives them a special elegance. Brooch with Pink Sapphire This elegant brooch with a pink sapphire surrounded by a lovely oval of diamonds is presumably made of platinum. Although it may be difficult to ascertain exactly what it is, it may be white gold. Exact information about the material is probably only available to royal jewelers. Based on the cut features, we can assume that this work of art was created in the 20th century, but the specific time of manufacture remains uncertain. Interestingly, the International Society of Gemologists does not draw a clear line between pink sapphire and ruby, as both variations represent different forms of corundum with different impurities, which can affect the coloring of the stone. It is interesting to note that the term pink sapphire is recent, previously such stones were called pink rubies. Art Deco Aquamarine Brooch This exquisite brooch, which belonged to the Queen Mother, entered Elizabeth II's collection in 2002. However, the Queen's daughter was hesitant to wear it immediately following the loss of her parent. It took a full 12 years before Elizabeth showed the aquamarine brooch to the public for the first time during a visit to Royal Ascot in 2014. Her next appearance with the brooch was in 2015, during a Christmas speech. A majestic large emerald-cut aquamarine adorns the center of the brooch, surrounded by smaller aquamarines of the same color with small inset diamonds. Would you wear one of these? Cullinan V Heart Diamond Brooch One of the most impressive brooches in Elizabeth II's collection is the Cullinan V Heart Diamond Brooch passed down to her from her grandmother, Queen Mary. At the center of this brooch is a 19-carat heart-shaped diamond surrounded by smaller paveset diamonds. This method of mounting the stones ensures that the metal is almost invisible, giving the impression that the diamonds are floating in the air. The center diamond is part of the famous Cullinan diamond, the largest diamond found in South Africa, which was presented to King Edward VII and given to Queen Mary. The Cullinan V brooch can be worn on its own or used to suspend other pieces of the Cullinan diamond, such as the Cullinan 8 brooch or the Cullinan 7 pendant, each of which is also part of this spectacular stone. Small Stars of Africa brooch Elizabeth II's appearance with a brooch known as Granny Chips, according to her grandson William is always accompanied by a special occasion. Considered one of the Queen's most precious pieces of jewelry, this brooch is made up of two iconic diamonds cut from the Cullinan diamond, a 94.5 carat pear-shaped Cullinan 3 and a 63.6 carat square cushion Cullinan 4. Turquoise and Diamond Brooch This brooch, set with cabochon-cut turquoise and round diamonds, 
was presented to Queen Mary in 1893 on the occasion of her marriage to the Duke of York. Turquoise is often associated with a symbol of good luck and protection, which may have been the reason why Queen Elizabeth II chose to wear this brooch when addressing the nation in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic in April 2020. In addition, the color of turquoise is similar to the color of medical forms, adding to this symbolic association. Victoria Bow Brooch This brooch, known as the Crown Heirlooms, was commissioned by Queen Victoria in 1858 from court jeweler Gerard. The brooch, in the shape of a knot, was created from 506 diamonds, and three brooches of different sizes were made. Over time, the jewellery was worn by other members of the royal family, including Queen Mary and, of course, Elizabeth II. The latter preferred to wear one of the bow brooches at a time, mostly on formal daytime events. Elizabeth II wore one of the brooches on 9 September 2015, when she became Britain's longest reigning monarch, surpassing Queen Victoria. Scarlet Lily Brooch this brooch, designed in the shape of a lily flower, is different from other jewellery in Elizabeth II's collection. It was presented to the Queen by the province of Saskatchewan in 2013 and is set with tourmalines from Madagascar, cultured freshwater pearls, white gold, and 300 diamonds. The lily is the symbol of the flag of this region and the Queen often wears this brooch. Jardine Star Brooch this impressive star brooch, made in the Victorian era, was given to the Queen by Scottish aristocrat Lady Jardine. The brooch consists of eight diamond beams, with a large diamond in the center and 66 diamonds of varying sizes between the star beams. Although Elizabeth II rarely paid attention to this brooch until 2000, she now wears the star of Jardine frequently. Apparently, the symbolic strength and confidence it carries has become particularly meaningful to the Queen. Ruby Scarab Brooch This brooch, decorated with rubies and diamonds, was created by the Anglo-Italian jeweler Andrew Grima. Prince Philip presented Queen Elizabeth II with this scarab brooch in 1996, making it particularly meaningful. The yellow gold jewel is complemented by a large carved ruby in the center, from which six smaller rubies branch off, as well as small diamonds scattered throughout. Giardinetti Brooch this brooch was given to Queen Elizabeth II by her parents in 1948, in honor of the birth of her son, Prince Charles. She first wore this brooch for a formal portrait with her son. The brooch is set with rubies, diamonds, sapphires, and emeralds. Over time, the Queen continued to use this jewel, including at the christening of her grandson, Prince George, continuing the tradition of honoring members of the royal family. Palm Leaf Brooch in 1938, the jeweler Cartier created a paisley brooch for Queen Consort Elizabeth, featuring marquise cut and brilliant cut diamonds from its personal collection. This large double-sided piece of jewelry allows it to be worn on different parts of a garment, including on a hat, on the brim of a neckline or as a regular lapel brooch. The brooch has been used at various events including the funeral of the Queen Mother, King George VI. Based on this, some believe the Queen wore the jewellery as a sign of defiance or mourning during Donald and Melania Trump's visit to the UK in July 2018. Frosted Sunflower Brooch In 1975, Gerard created a sunflower brooch for the Queen, featuring a floral design in gold encrusted with 31 diamonds. This jewellery looks more like a dahlia, which is why it is also known as the Golden Dahlia. In the center of the flower is a large diamond surrounded by nine smaller, pear-shaped diamonds. The petals of the flower are made of brushed 18-karat gold, each of which also features a diamond. The Gerard brand has created many pieces of jewelry for the British royal family, all of which are unique. For example, Princess Diana's engagement ring, which now belongs to Kate Middleton. But this is not the only piece of jewelry. There are also many other pieces of jewellery belonging to the British aristocracy that were once made by Gerard. Which of the Queen's brooches do you remember the most? 